Hello, this presentation is about turning landfill gases into energy, presented by David Zimmerman for Environmental Management 501, American Military University, Professor Dr. Emily Gusto. As you can see, this is an outline of what the presentation will cover. This is a satellite image of the Savannah Dean Forest Landfill where the project will take place, courtesy of Google Maps. This is a history of the landfill. It opened in 1984 as a public landfill. It currently covers 101 acres. It's run by the city of Savannah and provides services for Chatham County, Georgia. Currently, approximately over 4 million tons of waste are in place. And according to a 2018 report by Georgia Environmental Protection Division, the landfill is expected to reach capacity in June of 2024. The landfill accepts scrap metal, single stream recycling, and household garbage. The project uh, plans for installing a landfill gas collection system in order to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, supply energy, and reduce odors. According to the book, from Landfill Gas to Energy Technologies and Challenges 2011, methane, which is produced by landfills, is the next second most significant greenhouse gas that can last up to 12 years in the atmosphere, and landfills are responsible for 14% of global methane emissions. As you can see in this slide, this is an example of what a gas collection and processing system could look like courtesy of the EPA. If you see in the landfill gas is collected in the well, then it's sent over to the blower and treatment facility where the excess will be burned off. Then it can go to the pipeline where it will either be converted to energy, used as fuel, or sent directly to nearby industrial sites to power kilns or heaters. And those are just some of the options. This product can impact uh, some of our natural resources. First one we're gonna discuss is air. According to the EPA website 2020, municipal solid waste, MSW, landfills are the lar third largest human generated source of methane emissions in the United States, releasing an estimated 95.6 million metric tons of carbon dioxide. Landfill gases have a global warming potential 25 times greater than carbon dioxide and is a significant contributor to global climate change. Also, landfill gas collection systems can help by capturing between 60 to 90 percent of the methane, which can, then can be burned for energy, which destroys the methane and thereby produces clean energy. Other environmental impacts are, of course, that the construction will, project will require equipment that's going to be producing noise and burning fossil fuels to power that equipment. Construction of the landfill will also release some of the landfill gases in the atmosphere when they're digging out the wells and preparing the site for the collection and processing treatment facility. The system will also require electricity to run, but once it's completed, the amount will be small and not as significant as the greenhouse gases that are reduced by the system. And in addition, once the site is up and running, they could also supply their own energy. Additional environmental impacts can be uh, with the construction site involving excavating, water is going to be a concern in all cases. Surface runoff from the construction site could impact the Harding Canal, which is the South Loop project, which then feeds into the Salt Creek and then into the Little Oguchi River. Groundwater can also be affected and must be mitigated. Noise, of course, the facility, once it's up and running, will have engines that will be running that will generate noise, which can also impact. Uh, local community as well as particular animals. This is a list of where the information came from to make this presentation. Thank you for your time and have a great day.